ladies and gentlemen this is a quick tutorial on capture one how i develop my raw files and i proceed so the first thing i do is um, come to basic characteristics but i think i like it this way it's, it's natural i just use the profile i use on, on camera which is standard would you feel probably a standard sorry about the sound outside i live close to the boat just by the boat so forgive me if you hear me. Then the next thing I do is because of my Fuji raw files, and I take down the luminance just to take out the uh, noise reduction that was applied to it automatically. And then I come over to this threshold, take it out just to get back my sharpening how it was on the camera. So next, what I do is come over here. I go to the high dynamic range. I really like the the exposure is a bit it's a little it's not well exposed actually it's uh, it's it's a bit underexposed so what i do is i'll just push the white and then highlight a little bit up just to pop it up and then come to what's it called levels and then bring the whites in a little just to bring up the exposure and then take down the highlights because of the forehead and the cheek so bring the exposure up a little and i think i think around here i like it the exposure is okay for me then what next what do i do next i go to color balance no sorry color editor to the skin tone then this uh, color picker over here click on it then i come to maybe more darker shade of uh what's it called a skin tone so let's say around here around this region around this region just pick that skin tone there then i limit i'll just limit the the reds because of the outfit she's wearing the maroon the outfit. then i increase the saturation then increase the lightness it's uh, maybe uniformity, uniformity, bring it up a little bit. Best way. Then go back to basic. What I'll do is I'll select this color, just to pop the colors in the outfits. Then um, bring up the, um, the saturation a little bit. And I think I'm cool here. Then what else? Um, I think that's all I do for my images. Yes, uh, one more thing is go back to the skin tone, push the saturation a little bit more, then come over here. I'll create a new layer so that I can I can push I can push a second tone to the highlights, like the shadow maybe. So come to the color balance. Like so on the highlights, on the highlights, what I'll do is I'll push I push this color bit just to cut down the redness on the image I'll show you in after before and after so I think it looks more like a skin tone now and, and I can proceed so I did or I can limit what I did just on the highlights and to limit that I use the luma range on the luma range I click on the display max so it means everything on the highlight is affecting every part of this image but i want it to just affect the highlighted part of her so i'll just push this slider from left to right so it will show me where i'm selected right now so i think i'm cool with that selection then i'll feather it feather it off and bring it up this way and then just apply and then it applies more on the skin tone see before and after and if it's too much i can reduce the opacity a little bit here so if i think i'm cool i think i'm cool this way yes yes i am i'm cool with this um and that's all i import my image thank you guys for a quick five minute tutorial <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it bye